what is your opinion about it? Do you want to make some suggestions? Well, on these very, very common questions that we are faced with at our workplace? Well, yes, they are. And don't you think it is really an important, um, probably really a good thing to learn different ways to basically express opposing opinions and, exp and to make suggestions? Well, yes, it is. So what are we waiting for? You all are most welcome to Tutorials Point. Let us go ahead and learn what are the different phrases which we can use to express opposing opinions and to make suggestions. Well, when it comes to opinions, right, in case, just in case you need to express your opinion, it is still sort of easy. But what, in what if you need to express a very, very opposing opinion to whatever the discussion is going on? Well, then is the real challenge. So, well, let us go ahead and see what are the various expressions that you can use to express opposing opinions. Okay, well, here is the first expression. Maybe, but it seems to me that, so you're starting your sentence with maybe. So when you're saying maybe, you're sort of, you know, presenting doubt in whatever uh, the person right in front of you is saying, well, I think that this suggestion is going to make a huge amount of difference to this project. Maybe, but according to me, or maybe, but it seems to me that, so when you're starting it with maybe, it is, it is sort of you're opposing the opinion, right? Okay, I partly agree, but I still believe that. So I partly agree. You're not, you don't, do not fully agree or you do not fully give in to what is being discussed, right? I partly agree with this, but I still believe that. So again, a different way to oppose or a different way to sort of, you know, express your opinion when it is not going in sync with what everyone is saying a yes to. Okay. I don't agree in my opinion. So this is sort of more assertive. I don't agree in my opinion. So you're not uh, being subtle or you're not being diplomatic. You're just being way too direct. And well, again, based on the situation, if you feel that in a particular situation, you need to be very, very direct. Well, then you could use this phrase to express your opposing opinion. Okay. I completely disagree. This is a step ahead. This is like you're being way too curt and you are um, sort of not thinking about um, the person who's in front of you. So again, if the situation demands that, well, then you might want to use this phrase as well. So I completely agree. I completely disagree to what you're saying, right? So then go ahead and express what you want to. So well, these are different phrases which you can use to express opposing opinion. Again, basis the situation that you are in, whether you want to be very diplomatic, nuanced, or you want to be assertive, or you want to be way too direct, you can use any of these phrases based on the situation that you are in. Okay, well, how about making suggestions? So, well, this is a very long list of phrases which you can use to make suggestions. So here, I suggest or I think you should. So again, I suggest is the simplest and the easiest way or I think you should. So again, when you are saying this, you are making a suggestion. So I think you should go ahead and talk to so and so person or it might be better too. So again, it is sort of a nuanced way. You're not being way too direct about it, but it's you're sort of being very, very um, subtle and polite about it. So it might be better to look into the records before going ahead or we or you ought to. So here you're making a much more direct suggestion, right? So you're not sort of putting it across very, very, um, you know, easily, very, very sort of uh, diplomatically or very, very politely. You're just being way, you being very, very assertive. So we or you ought to go through so and so data before putting forward the project. Or if I were you, I would have. So again, if I were you, you are sort of, this is a more a friendly way of presenting the suggestion because here you are suggesting just like, you know, as if you were in that particular situation. So it's, it's more of um, 
a concerned and a friendly way of presenting your suggestion. So if I were you, I would have done so and so. Okay. I don't think we or you should. So I don't think here it's sort of uh, you are presenting or you are giving your suggestion, but you are starting at a negative note. So when I say negative, it's not negative in abstract sense, negative in terms of the word. So I don't think so. I don't think this is the only way to do it or I don't think we should just go ahead um, without checking uh, the facts and figures. So here you are, so again you are giving a suggestion but you are starting at a doubtful and a negative note. Okay, you or we could, so you could do so and so or we could do so and so. Again simple very very easy way you could you're directly suggesting um, there's there's very less expression attached to it so very very easy you're just answering to the point you're not um, sort of inserting any expression to it okay couldn't you or couldn't we again couldn't you don't you think or couldn't you do it or couldn't we do it that way around so it's it's sort of starting at a uh, slightly at a doubtful note so when I say doubtful it doesn't mean that you are not sure of what you're saying but it's it's sort of couldn't we do it this way around you're not 100% sure like we could or we could not but again whether you're sure or not you are making a suggestion or shall we go ahead and check that out so shall we is yet another easy simple way of giving your suggestion so how or what about that guy do you think he's a good fit for this team so what about or how about again giving your suggestion why don't you or why don't we just check that out this is more of like inquisitive you are questioning why don't we go ahead and just check that out so all these are different phrases which are starting or which are uh, sort of setting in a different different uh, tone or which are giving or which are representing different reactions or emotions okay why don't you or why don't you okay why not so why not go and check that out so again it's inquisitive you're questioning or let's let's is as simple let's go ahead and check that out so simple simplest and the easiest way of giving a suggestion or making a suggestion let us go ahead and check that out so well again this list is very large i have just picked up a few expressions for you which definitely will help you a lot to present your opinion or to give your suggestions in a better way. Well, keep learning with tutorials point and tutorials. I will see you again in the next video. Have a good day.